What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the Priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at everything about your true soulmate. So it is true that you can have multiple soulmates in this lifetime, but in this specific reading, we're going to be looking at your true ultimate soulmate. So I'm going to be picking up as much information as I can about the person that you could be attracting or maybe you have already attracted. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Tarot Tribe. And also if you guys are looking for more information about myself or anything that I have going on, you can find that at the tarotpriest.com or the description box down below. So obviously we have four different decks that you guys can choose from and we have the decks and we also have four different Oracle love messages. So just choose whichever you believe is pulling towards you. Another thing I like to do is just kind of take a look away and take a look back and whichever deck is just really calling towards you is probably going to be the one. There's no such thing as choosing the wrong deck. You know, every message is for a reason. So if you guys are new, also you can check out the pinned comment down below to see which deck and go right directly to that deck so you won't have to listen to the rest so you'll see your chapter down below and also the pinned comment for the deck that you'd select so overall you're asking please describe my true soulmate give me the information that i'm seeking about my true soulmate my true life partner in a sense if that's what you guys want to call it is what we're asking the universe and we're choosing our decks we have four different decks that you guys can choose from we have deck one deck two deck three and deck four. So let's look into all the information about your true soulmate. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in all about your true soulmate. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are an eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Okay, so I definitely feel like your true soulmate is going to create a lot of moments for you. And it's, it's more so pleasurably. So with the sexual union, it can also just be in pleasure in general. So I do feel like your true soulmate, you're going to experience very euphoric feelings with them. Okay. This is true bliss. You're going to feel different. Like you're going to feel something that you haven't felt before. Transformation. So some of you guys could even go through a transformation before you attract your true soulmate or are going through transformations or could have already went through these uh, transformations. And again, this is because as you become more of your true authentic self, you start to attract different soulmates in your life. So I definitely feel like with the transformation, you could have experienced or will experience a transformation before you meet this person or while you're with this person. So that's something that's just kind of, I'm, I'm sensing that it's going to be a very powerful connection. Okay, because anytime you go through a transformation, this is a very, very powerful connection um, that's going to actually help you even with growth. So let's look at a little bit more about this person. Seven of Swords. King of Cups. The Tower. So they could be a Scorpio. They don't have to be, but I'm going to be calling out some Zodiac signs as well. I feel like your person definitely has went through a lot of things in their life um, as far as trusting people. So I, I see that if you have not met this soul, true soulmate just yet, it's because they could be blocked off in a sense, just feeling like they've been giving a lot, not receiving. Um, we have the King of Cups. So I'm seeing that this person is by nature very like sensitive to their feelings. So Scorpio energy would definitely resonate with some of you. If you meet this person, they have they could have water in their chart, but I'm seeing that they want to be open emotionally, like they want to give, but they want to feel like they can trust who they're giving themselves to. So this is like, they have so much to offer, so much to offer. However, I do feel like they kind of are in a space where they have to believe that good things can still happen. So the energy between you two is action, the thinking man, And last but not least, financial constraints. Okay, so this person is definitely focusing on career, focusing on how they can strategize and have more freedom in their finances. This person definitely takes action when it comes to finances. Okay, let's clarify and get some information on why these cards are here. Seven of Swords for the true soulmate that they're meant to be with okay the magician 
So yeah, some of you are already manifesting this person. I do sense that it's going to come after some type of spiritual transformation or revelation that you have within yourself. I do see that this is going to help your relationships deepen. And it, it's also this person's making you a believer of true love. And I love that love conquers all and transforms things. So you definitely both of you will have a lot in common as far as transformation, feeling like you had have had to transform throughout your entire life. So this person is coming up as a magician. They're also coming up as a wish come true, something that you would really, really desire to have. Okay, this person definitely doesn't wait to take action. I see that maybe they're even working on slowing down a little bit. Okay, more about this true soulmate for deck one. Thank you. Three of swords. Yeah, so they've definitely experienced some disappointment. You may even uh, meet this person after something in your life that really changed. I mean, the tower would be a really drastic change in your life. Sometimes it's kind of forcibly um, out of our control type of change. I'm definitely seeing that with the six of swords. So you could meet this person after going through some type of loss, some type of heartache, some type of just redirection. You know, we have these things in our life that redirect us in certain places. And I see with the six of swords, you are moving forward. And the six of swords is almost like she's still looking back some card she's looking forward. It's not by coincidence. I'm using this deck with your deck. So I do believe that you're focusing on looking forward. Even if you have a fear of manifesting someone that you used to date that you don't want to, you would still be in that energy. So spirit is definitely saying um, to, to move forward. And I do have an attractor card after at the very end of this deck. So I will be pulling a card as far as how you can attract this true soulmate, because I'm seeing that this is after a journey that you're manifesting them. Now, more characteristics and things that this person, your true soulmate would be involved in anything that has to do with having more. So I definitely feel like even with the financial constraints, there could be a hold on, on a relationship or on meeting this person, take it how it resonates based on where they are career wise. I do feel like they want to bring more to the table. Um, they want to be able to be supportive, um, very fully supported, even in this connection with you. I even see that it's part of their purpose because they are a giver. I do see that they have learned not to give to the wrong people. Like I said, in the very beginning, this person's very emotional in the sense of can be very in tune with their feminine side, but have fears of being that vulnerable with the wrong people. And so I do see that this person is abundant and their financial constraints could even come from their care, charismatic will to give to others and they leave their self um, short is what I'm feeling because they're all about being devoted to abundance, but now they're being redirected to their life purpose. Something else that they're involved in is their desires and passions. So <laughs> it's really cool because in order to attract this person, you would actually be mirroring them. So if a lot of this sounds like what you've went through, then yes, you are attracting yourself in another person but it's a higher frequency than you've been on before. So with the magician, I'm even seeing that you'll know when you're closer to meeting this person, if you haven't already, based on your heart's desires. So when you start following your heart's desires, guess what your soulmate is doing? Same thing. So focus on financial freedom, focusing on following dreams and passions. That's what this person is focused on. So you will know if you're close to them, if you are actually doing the same thing. So it says the angels are supporting, guiding and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So this person is really working on opening themselves up to spirit. I'm definitely seeing that that's why they've experienced a tower and a transformation is for them to realize that they're fully supported, fully guided and protected on this new path in their life. Okay. They're also very creative. Your soul longs to accept it express itself creatively. So this person is very, very creative. Okay. I want to confirm why the tower is here for this true soulmate. Thank you. The artist. I knew it. I wanted to say like, they're definitely artistic. They're into something. Um, that's so crazy. Like spirits, like grab the deck. I grab the deck and then it's the artist right after creative expression. It's like, Wow, the signs are certainly here. Your guides are working together to bring you you two together if you haven't already. This person is very artistic. They could have put their dreams on the back burner, could have put their passions on the back burner for what? Um, to focus on career. 
So I do see this person could be going through a career change, embracing more of their passions. Um, this person's very creative and wants to express themselves like they have. I do feel like they're in tune with their emotions. They're learning more. They're not exactly there yet when it comes to understanding themselves fully. And they're going through this discovery right now of learning who they are. Writing, very creative person. Okay, they are very inquisitive. They're very intellectual. I'm surprised we, we do have swords here, but I do think that I was looking more for like the king of swords or the knight of swords. Let's just clarify. Okay, look at that. I'm telling you guys, I can't make this up. Page of Swords, Judgment, I'm feeling it, okay? So they both, I, I feel like both of you are going through a transformation or will go through a transformation spiritually. This is about like who you truly are and your soul. So the reason why I was saying a, page, uh, um, a knight or a king of swords, but we got a page of swords, is because this person's very intellectual. Like they are a visionary. They love to see um, what they can create. They're very, very smart, like very smart. I feel like this is something that you're going to really love about them. Um, the page of swords would tell me that out of all the swords, they got the page, which is like more of an adolescent or a child. This person is still learning. They're still learning their gifts. They're still learning themselves. Um, but I do see that the more they learn about themselves, the more they're able to create abundance in their life. Um, because I do believe family, family values matter to this person. Oracle cards. Wow. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So this person could definitely be into spirituality. Um, that could actually be what brings you guys together. They could be just now getting into Oracle cards. But what I'm sensing with this person overall is they're just open. They're very open and they love to try new things. They love to challenge themselves. Um, and I just see that the energy between you guys, like this person would definitely be taking a lot of action. Um, seeing that you guys would have a lot of moments together intellectually where you would conversate and have like a, a really good conversation. Even riding horses could be something. Um, I'm just seeing that there are going to be different things you experience with this person that you have not experienced yet. The little star. So if I were to tap into their higher energy into the true version of who your soulmate is, I got the little star and visionary, the seer. Yeah. Equopius, the seer. Wow. Yeah. I was like, I know this person is a visionary. So whoever they are, they are pretty much tuned in when it comes to spirituality. They understand it. Again, like I said, there's still more to learn because the only major card I'm getting was the tower and obviously the judgment at the bottom. So I do see they're going to go through a spiritual awakening. And this is what actually uh, transforms them into the true soulmate because we are already ourselves, right? Our soul, but acting on the surface, we must be true to ourselves so that our, our soulmate can recognize us. And so I do see this person is embracing the star in them. Um, they could have been in the shadows before, but now they, they're coming to the forefront is what I'm hearing. All right, let's see if we can get any more information on this true soulmate that you're attracting. Okay, we're gonna pull three cards to describe this true soulmate. Thank you. Eight of cups. I accept my situation without resistance. So yeah, this person could be coming in after a heartache or a disappointment, a betrayal. I accept my situation. And that is all about just accepting what has happened in the past and being able to be open to what can come in the future. And that is more and better. So you, you too, will be each other's better version, but you must transform to become that better version. Not the perfect version, just the better version. It's a, it's a, like almost like one more knob on the frequency channel. And I do see that it is causing you to have to walk away from maybe someone who is not because we have the King of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Let's get some more information on this true soulmate. Three of Swords. Yeah, we have that two times. So it's definitely someone is going through a heartbreak. They could be, you could be. And after this, it seems like you're meeting. Let's get some information on that. Thank you. Two of Swords. Yeah, it's a decision that has to be made before this true soulmate can actually be attracted. Okay. Now, if you guys are in a relationship, it just means that you would have to go through a transformation and some relationships are able to stay together through the transformation. That's usually like a really, really deep 
uh, soulful connection that you have, but some people have to separate to go through the transformation to grow. So take that how it resonates, but I'm definitely sensing that if I'm describing this person, you will know, okay? You will know if you've met them. All right, now, how do you attract this person into your life? True manifesting is about receiving what is of the highest good for all. So basically, I definitely see that what spirit is saying is that there's going to be some revelations that are going to occur before you uh, manifest this true soulmate. Let's just see where is this true soulmate in deck one's life right now. Thank you. Yeah, I don't feel like you've met this person as you see they're dwelling on something you both are kind of in the same space so this person is is not even able to see and wouldn't be able to see anything new because they're dwelling on some things that have happened in the past and that could be you too but again remember your soulmate is a reflection of you so that's how you will know that this is the the true soulmate because you will have experienced so much of the same things so this person is just dis kind of discontent and separated in a sense distantly until they go through this transformation after they go through this transformation last card their true soulmate yeah it's gonna take time and patience i'm seeing with the seven of pinnacles so yeah your true soulmate is definitely going through a transformation and they're finding their true self and i feel like maybe you guys are also kind of feeling the same way just Dis discovering more of your true self is going to help you manifest this true soulmate and that's how you manifest them so yeah i'm definitely seeing that if you guys chose deck number one your person is pretty dope i mean they're very very smart very creative uh very loving um very in tune when it comes to their emotions as they are still currently working on it so yeah if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading in your true soulmate and if you guys are looking for exclusive readings off the grid you can find that at the tarotchest.com in the meantime i'm going to move on to deck number two if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and all about your true soulmate. The card you were drawn to is my beloved. Though we may be spiritually apart, sorry, physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Okay, so some of you could definitely be waiting for this person to come in. And I also see acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there's no point in trying to change which is beyond our control so you're learning to just accept things as they are i do feel like you're attracting this person i'm going to get some more information imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving in a light creating new room for opportunity so many of you are creating this new chapter in love and i do believe that you are attracting someone very connected to you let's just get some information on the energy between you two man holding a coin the world so you guys could be apart in distance so for sure could be apart in distance because we have though we may be physically apart i'm seeing that even you might not be in the same state okay happy family so this person and you will create either a family together Okay, this person could already have a child, you could already have a child, and your family comes together. So don't think of this as just a traditional family because this is a very special connection here. Now, let's just get some more information on this connection between you two and why Beloved is here. So this would mean telepathically you guys are communicating. Um, remember that love and time not even on the same parallel reality, okay? So we're understanding that love is way beyond time and space. So time doesn't really matter here because you guys are still connected in, in the 5D. So let's get some information on this beloved card for deck two. Thank you. Four of pentacles. Judgment. Okay, so this is a destined connection that you are meant to meet. Now take this how it resonates. If you guys are in a relationship and unsure if this is your true soulmate, only you would know based on the honesty, it, that will be revealed to you very, very soon here with the judgment card. So if you're not with your true soulmate, then you will manifest them regardless. Even if you're in a relationship, you will just start feeling the relationship become congested and almost like 
needing to be released or needed to take a step back so that you can get the clarity. That's for very few of you because I'm feeling like most of you here could definitely be looking for your true soulmate, but I'm getting the four of pentacles, which means you could be holding on to something. So let's just see why the four of pentacles is here. One card. Thank you. Clarify the four of pentacles. Thank you. Ace of cups. Yeah. I feel like a new relationship is getting ready to come in. You're manifesting someone new. It will require you to let go or release or step back or contemplate, take it how it resonates, um, this connection, because I'm seeing the queen of pentacles, your true soulmate is, is going to want to commit to you very fast here with the queen of pentacles, ace of cups. Judgment tells me that you were meant to meet this person. Let's see a little bit more about them. Six of wands. So they could definitely be in the spotlight or they could definitely have recognition around what they do. Uh, a lot of people could know them. This person is financially stable. Um, this person loves to travel the world. Um, yeah, this is amazing. And I do see that you guys are kind of mirroring each other when it comes to practical success. So if you find yourself going through an ascension or an evolution, which just means that you're, you're being challenged to expand yourself outside of your own limitations, even with finances and how much you can achieve and your independence and stability, this person loves that. Like, I do believe that you guys, it's crazy because she's holding a coin and he's holding a coin. So I'm getting that this is a, a very specific relationship. Like you guys marry each other with what you want practically. And that could be just a lot of money. Okay. A lavish lifestyle. The queen of Pentacles lives a lavish lifestyle. Um, and that's what I'm getting as well is that this person can definitely love to travel and just explore in the finer things of life with the six of wands. Okay. We also have the two of Pentacles. We have the 10 of cups. So yeah, this is definitely a meant to be relationship with you. You will have children with this person I'm seeing. And I'm also feeling, again, some of you could already have a family and you're merging a family. Either way, family is a big deal. So this person could definitely already have a child. You can have a child or have raised children, a step parent. There's just family here, lots of family. So this person cares about their family. They care about fulfillment emotionally. The 10 of cups would be like a marriage, family, the white picket fence, the children running in the background. So if you had to accept certain relationships that were not the one, this would kind of be like a reward for you more about this person. Wow. Yeah, this is a pretty cool person. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you guys. This this is a king of wands here. Very, very creative, um, very motivated. Okay. They could be a Leo. They could be an Aries. They could be a Sagittarius or have that in their chart heavily, um, especially in their rising because I'm seeing in their actions, they definitely love to make to be in control. Like they love, they could even desire to fly their own pilot or their own plane. They could decide to be a pilot, um, just for fun because this person just loves to creatively explore. They love to travel. They love to see the world. Um, they may desire to have multiple houses. And I do believe that you probably won't see this person coming, especially if you had to make a decision. Um, more about what this person is into. Yeah, artist. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial for your career. So whoever this person is could be an artist. They could be a musician. They could be in the entertainment business because again, we have the six of wands. So this would be someone that has eyes on them. People recognize them for the work that they're doing. Okay, they're very creative. They're known for their creative ability. What else do they like to do? Yoga. So they like to be in tune. I love that about them. They definitely love to be in tune. It says your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercising. This person I'm hearing for a few of you could be an athlete. Okay. Again, I'm only saying that because this person is definitely coming up as someone who's creatively in charge. So I would like to say maybe in the sports realm, there could be creativity. We'll get some clarification there, but whoever they are, they, they're very athletic. 
So with, with the yoga, I do see that they want to ha- enhance their life. So they could care about things that enhance them as far as nutrition or um, caring about their body, taking care of it. Like that's all that I'm seeing here. Flowers. Okay. So this person definitely gets acknowledgement. So working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings and others through your life purpose. So let's get some more information. Crystals. Your connection in crystals is an energy healing. So this person could be into that type of stuff like um, bracelets and certain crystals or they could talk about it as far as protecting their energy. So they know enough about spirituality, I'm sensing, uh, for them to be connected. Very sensitive. They could be an empath. Okay, so I'm sensing that the sensitivity is here. They could definitely be an empath. And then also school. So this person could have went to school, could have gotten a degree, could be playing right now um, for the school. There's some type of connection here. Let's get some more information on why the King of Wands is here. Clarify this King of Wands, the, the, the uh, characteristic of this person. Yeah, they're competitive. That's the word I'm getting. Competitive, nine of cups, wheel of fortune. I do believe that even though they have a lot of success or they're on the brink of this success, they definitely feel like there's more that could be obtained. And I believe that's through family life with the nine of cups here. The wheel of fortune is here. So this person is definitely, you guys are drawing one another to each other with the wheel of fortune. It's just kind of bound to be this way. So you will definitely meet this person. Uh, we have the nine of cups. That's what I'm concerned about. I do feel like they feel like something is still missing with the 10 of cups. It's like they really desire to have 10 of cups and they're coming up with nine. So they still feel like they're missing something emotionally. And I do believe that it's the relationship or their true soulmate, which is you. So I do see that you're going to be manifesting this person. Um, and let's just see how you will be manifesting them. Directing my focus on what's thriving creates more of what I want. So you're working, you're working on attracting them, but understanding how to attract law of attraction. Cause there are, I don't like to say rules, but there are certain stipulations when it comes to what you're asking for. Sometimes we ask for things and we don't feel worthy. This person might feel out of our league. We might push them away. We might think it's too good to be true if we're not ready. So spirit is not going to send best the best contender that spirit has for you to, to be focusing on what you don't want or in an energy of what you don't want or believing that maybe this is too good to be true, etc. You know, whatever comes up there. More information about this person. They're coming up as a healer, the medicine woman or man. And they're also coming up as the Jade Star Surrender. So this person is getting more in tune with their feminine energy, compassion, because they are competitive. They, they do have a lot of masculine energy. I'm going to definitely tell you that. Um, I am seeing that they do care about their body. That's what I was saying. I nurture and nourish my body, mind, and soul. So this person cares about being in alignment and being like the best version that they can be. And so I believe that how you're going to attract them is also feeling and believing that you are the best version that you can be so that you can actually attract this person into your life um, if you have not already. So I'm definitely sensing that this person is into healing and is into the abilities of natural care, holistic care. They could travel the world to find more information as far as that. Let's look at the energy between you two. What can you expect with your true soulmate for deck two? What can they expect with their true soulmate? One card. Thank you. Okay. This person focuses a lot on bringing the light and focusing on the positive things. I do see that this person is going to be a light in your life. Uh, I definitely see that they're going to be able to balance and give to you all that you're giving. So it's not going to feel like you're given to a cup with holes. It's going to be someone who is going to really appreciate all that you do have to give. This person is going to bring balance even in the practical world. Let's get one more card here. High priest. 
So the biggest thing that I'm seeing that's going to actually be drawing you two together is following your intuition. I believe this person has followed their intuition into many of their creative endeavors. They have followed their intuition financially and they have received success because of that. And just by doing so, this has intrigued them into wanting to get into more things spiritually, such as crystals, yoga, energy work, holistic care, anything with the body, mind, and soul. This person really cares about uh, fulfillment of life is what I'm getting. Now, the biggest thing that, again, that I'm seeing is going to bring you two together and what you can expect in this relationship is to really mirror this high priestess version of you. So they are going to be pretty amazing and they're going to think you're pretty amazing as well. So I, I'm loving the energy here. Okay. And then we have 10 of Pentacles. So yeah, this is definitely a committed relationship. Um, your, your true soulmate is definitely, you're going to feel it because I, I feel like they're pretty stable. Okay. This person is pretty stable is what I'm getting. So we have a, a lot of stability here, lots of stability to the point where this person desires to expand. And that's where the family's coming in. They want to expand in their business. They don't want to be limited with anything, with anything at all. So this person's very ambitious, very competitive and wants to win. <laughs> that's what I'm feeling. But as far as you're concerned, I, I do see this person is probably going to be proposing or wanting to be with you very quickly because the Ten of Pentacles, they're just going to know, okay? And you're going to know as well. All right. Let's pull one more card. Any other information on this true soulmate? Any other information on this true soulmate? Deck two. Thank you. Yeah. Of course, they're coming up as an emperor. I said Aries energy, but Aries, Leo, Sag, lots of fire here, as you see. Very energetic, very passionate. Okay, take the time I need to nurture myself. This person cares for themselves. They take really good care of themselves. They stay true to their values, even though this is the competitive card. So they really care about like they, their word, keeping their word, keeping their bond. They're coming up as the emperor. Again, this is someone who is like a boss. This is someone who's calling the shots. This is someone who is the emperor, the chief. Okay, the honcho, like this is the energy that this person is embodying, whether it's a male or a female, this is a lot of masculine energy. They know what they want. They know what they're doing. And then we have the three of wands. I have the energy I need to realize my goals. They've been very, very active when it comes to luxury, abundance, living the rich life is what I'm getting here. Okay, even with the nine of pentacles, lots of pentacle energy wants to own homes, could have multiple properties, things of that nature, could be talking about multiple properties and still have these desires in their heart. So yeah, this person is, wow, they're, they're pretty impressive is what I'll say. And they've worked very hard, I want to say, um, worked very hard at becoming who they are today, but they're learning that it's even easier with intuition. So they're definitely going through this spiritual realization all right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and your true soulmate and what to expect with them. If you are looking for exclusive readings off the grid, you can find that at thetarotchest.com for more readings. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. The card you were drawn to, passion. I can tell with this picture, you guys have a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry. This is not going to be someone that you have to ask to be pleased this they're going to want to give to you okay and you're going to be definitely learning how to receive is when i'm seeing a lot of passion so your true soulmate feels like you guys are in euphoria together and it feels like you can't literally let go of them okay the energy that i'm picking up with this card is just like super spicy all right, so passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So those of you who are like glowing or going through this glow up in your life, wherever you are in time, this is actually what you're going to go through that brings a lot of attention. So it says enjoy it. So yeah, you're going to be open to receiving attention um, from other people that just are complimenting you and seeing that you're kind of in this energy. And I see that you kind of being lit up in this spicy just seductive energy is actually what attracts your true soulmate or what uh, makes them very excited to be with you. I would say that based on if you're with someone now or not, 
Emotions are a natural part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. To see things clearly, let go of resentment. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay, let's get some energy between you two. Balance. The temple path. And the sun. Okay, those of you who chose this deck, I definitely feel like you may go through an experience with someone that you feel like is very, very close to being your true soulmate. I mean, they could be really close on paper. They could have been close um, or maybe you feel or felt. It depends again, because some of you could be in relationships and I want to make sure that I am respecting that. But what I'm going to be doing is just pulling the true energy and the true love energy of your soulmate. And you can decide whether or not you're with the right person or waiting for the right person. So take that how it resonates because I always, always love to honor the free will of your heart and desire. But I am seeing that some of you could have went through pretty challenging relationships. I do sense that this person is specifically for you. Let's get some information on them. Ten of Wands. Okay, they. you guys are definitely going through some of the same similar things. And for you to cleanse your energy completely, that's how you're going to attract someone differently. And I'll get to that eight of pentacles okay so your person your true soulmate is a hard worker okay i do think that they see things from a different perspective let's get some clarity on why the ten of wands is here i do see that they could have ended something i definitely feel like those of you who chose this deck could have experienced a loss in relationship or just losses in relationship karmic relationships for those of you who are i do see that your true soulmate is experiencing the same thing or has let's get the energy of their true soulmate because even now your true soulmate is still in old energy look at this the chariot so they are coming okay cancer energy they are coming but look at all of this energy of the past that comes up when i'm asking about your true soulmate so we're gonna get some clarity on give me the true real soulmates energy when you have to add extra definitions all right, three of pentacles in reverse, knight of cups in the well. Okay, I do believe that there is a true soulmate that you have not met yet. I do believe that because the, the knight of cups is in reverse, three of pentacles is in reverse, the chariot is in the upright, which is good, and then the well is in reverse, but we have the fool in judgment. So spirit is basically you either went through a spiritual transformation where you had to let go of something that you thought was very close to being it. Or um, another thing is we can have multiple soulmates, but just in different periods of our life. That's something as well, because as you evolve, you will expand or evolve or outgrow your relationships. And sometimes that could be your intimate relationships as well. So I'm seeing you deck three, if you chose this, you can be a very like uh, go-getter wanting to always have the best or be the best in the sense of being the best that you can be. And because of that, you're always expanding. And this expansion is meaning that your soul will desire to have more, more fulfillment, more happiness. Whoever this true soulmate is, there's a lot of happiness. It feels like they were destined for you. It feels like they're waiting in the temple path for you. This person is bringing a lot of balance to you. It's after a leap of faith, though. It's after an unknown. It's after an ascension, a spiritual awakening, an ego death, where you go through this, you go through this judgment and you find yourself. And when you find your true self, you're able to attract your true soulmate. So we'll get more into that because I do believe deck three that you could have experienced a karmic relationship. This person is a leader. They take charge of a situation. Your true soulmate is a leader. They take charge. Even if they, because we're not perfect, right? And we have our bad days. But if you are something, you will be something majority of the time. So this person is a leader majority of the time. They don't just say it. They are it. Okay? So we have spiritual teacher. 
this person is a teacher, they teach spirituality, they could be in sessions, classes, seminars, they could desire to just heal in general. So this person that you're attracting is a spiritual teacher, which means that they're going to definitely mirror some of the greatest versions of you, because I do believe that you, if you chose this deck, are, have a calling on your life as well with the judgment. Okay, this would be like a twin flame relationship that you would be manifesting. Now, spiritual teacher, they heal with classes, so they're a teacher. Sometimes they fail to ask for support. They're so strong. Music, they do music. They're into music. So I do feel like you guys could be connected through music. And the music they create or you create could heal others, heal, I mean, yourself, could be through the chakra work, meditation music, could just use music in general. This person is definitely tapped in when it comes to understanding spirituality. They, they're there. And I can't wait to pick up their energy fully because I feel like this is their energy and this is what you've been through. Because you can see like the hardships, this true soulmate is not going to bring hardships for you. It's going to move very quickly. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be very effortless is what I'm hearing. Trust. Okay, trust your feelings and dreams to guide you to your career path. So I definitely feel like this person could mirror you like your soul, your true heart. And if you love music, they love music. And that's something that's here as well. So at the core of who you are is who they are. It's crazy. You, you guys are literally the same energy. If I were to read it, I would just say I'm talking. I feel like I'm talking to you, but I'm talking about them and it's you. So I know you guys are one. Um, more about this person, they are a star mother. So the universal mother loves and supports me totally. Um, so they're all embraced in the empress energy. They're all embraced in feminine energy. This is going to be your divine partner, your other person. <laughs> wow. Yeah, some of you guys, guys could have went through a relationship that was pretty damn close to being it, but wasn't. Okay, and take that how it resonates. Some of you could have maybe not have went through a relationship, but this could be past life energy. Okay, finale. So this is going to be the one for you. Okay, so it, it's the final. It's the one. It's the one you've been waiting for. It's the one that mirrors the greatest version of you. So what do you do to attract them is you become the greatest version of yourself. And this isn't about being the perfect version, okay? This is just about knowing you have potential, knowing you have gifts, deck number three, knowing you have these gifts and not walking in them. As you walk in more of who you are and your gifts, you attract this person because they are you. And I do believe that you guys are kind of on the same path right now, uh, even with how you're attracting one another. So as you're expanding, this person would have expanded. You guys have a lot in common as far as what you've went through, um, putting a lot of work into relationships that maybe just didn't work out, even if it's friendships. OK, we have the Knight of Cups. So this person, I don't believe you've met yet. Um, we'll get some clarity before I get into the finale. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse for this true soulmate? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I think that you have been holding on to something that has been blocking more from coming in four of pentacles that's kind of what i was getting on deck two a little bit so you guys could have resonated with that why is the four of pentacles here for the nine of cups justice yeah so i do see that that could have been a karmic relationship at the bottom we have the sun so you're going to be manifesting the one this would be your divine masculine, divine feminine. It's going to be just like you, but a different version. It's like when you meet them, they've been working on something that you're now getting ready to work on. And when they meet you, you're now just getting, they could just be getting into spirituality where you've been into spirituality. So that's where the yin and yang come in. It says, after the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. So yeah, you could have definitely experienced or experience, could be experiencing doubt or curiosity, which is also healthy, as to who your true soulmate is. And this soulmate, this would mean that you would have a lifetime together. Like there's a lot of chemistry here. And I still only have two cards. <laughs> That's the cool part. Like this person is so in alignment with you that you'll know it's the one because everything will just say yes. 
even when you're like, but yes, it'll just be that clear. There's no doubt at all. All right. So we have the sun. Let's see how you attract them. It's good to feel good. So you attract them by feeling good so that you can attract what? Good. If you feel bad, you attract bad. We also have, I am patient. See, I knew that this person is coming. You guys are manifesting this person. They are the sun to the moon. <laughs> this is like such an annoying, like fairy tale way of meeting each other. Cause it's like the temple path. It's just divine here. Um, it says, I am patient knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. So once you say, send it back, right? Let's just say you put your order into the universe. You're like, I want this. I want that universe sends it and just know that the universe never gets it wrong but maybe we forgot some some details so we get it if we keep it whether it's a person it doesn't matter what it is we are sending off that vibration that yeah this is good enough for me but if you say no thank you and send it back spirit sends what better so i do believe um, some of you could have experienced i know a lot of people are going to experience this probably soon but false flames feeling like this person is so damn close to being the one, so close, it's scary, but just still not exactly that true soulmate that you are meant to find in this lifetime. Now, this is the only deck so far that I've, I'm speaking in the terms of like a fairy tale, magical, whimsical way. So you guys both believe in this and that's what also attracts it. Okay. Let's get some more information about this true soulmate. Because even here we have the two of swords. Yeah, definitely happening after a heartbreak or something of that nature is when you're attracting this person. True soulmate. More about this true soulmate. Okay, we have Virgo energy hermit. Okay, we have the death card. Scorpio, Virgo, seven of cups. You could definitely be dreaming about this person. Okay, this person could be going through a lot right now i definitely see that they're trying to find their way let's get some more information on this true soulmate they're attracting thank you okay thank you i was like come on like do you see how much energy i had to shuffle through just to get through the true soulmate so i do believe detox release get out of the spirit of what you do not want letting let it go move forward and let, look at this the moon <laughs> can't make this up guys I cannot make it up if I wanted to. Spirit is very, very clear here. I see that you guys are going to take a journey. Um, there's a bit of a time of a hermit mode, being by yourself. Um, and I do see that there is some fear, trusting people, opening up. You know, So just taking that time that you need, whoever this person is, let's get back to your true soulmate. I definitely feel as if we have Pisces, so they could have Pisces in their chart. We also have Leo. They are a magician. This is the energy I'm looking for. Look at all this. Shiny gold, royal energy. Okay. We have the empress. We have the emperor. So this person is definitely the other half. Okay. Um, this person could have went through a lot. They're definitely getting ready to come through a breakthrough. I'm seeing they could be competitive in what they do, but they're definitely a magician. Uh, so they want all that they've come here to get. They are a manifester. I mean, they have, they have worked their way to places that many people could not get to. So whoever this person is, they're very, very special. Okay. Again, I don't believe you've met this true soulmate just yet. Now, if you're reading this, I, I mean, it depends on which year you could have just met them. You know, that's something as well. So to describe them, I would say they're a manifester. They want what they want. They're an emperor. They're a boss. And they, they call the shots. They make the decisions with the emperor card here. I definitely see that you could be waiting. Both of you could be waiting on one another. Psychic information. They're psychic. Very psychic. <laughs> Anytime you get the moon and the magician, what are y'all doing? I mean, lighting candles. They are definitely into this magic stuff. So both of you are magicianally, if that's a word, manifesting each other. You're both magicians manifesting one another, but I do see that for you, you're getting back to this power that you do have, and it's taking you to clear and cleanse some of this karmic energy. Um, I'm even hearing karmic debt so that you can manifest this person. So yeah, they're a boss. Um, I love their energy, magician, 
And they also could have a dream, could be a clairvoyant, could be a psychic. That's something I'm getting. Definitely an energy reader. They could read energy, very good with energy. They follow their intuition. Anything else about this person that they're manifesting? Eight of Swords, they'd had to free themselves from many things. So I definitely see that they had to free themselves from many things, but the star card is here. It's destined for you two to meet and you will meet. Magician at the bottom, I manifest perfectly what I desire. This person does not play. What they want, they get, and what they believe they deserve, they get. So they are definitely, even if they don't understand their manifestation power, are tapped into some things that are helping them manifest either a career, a really good career, um, a really good creative career with even the music and they're a star. So they're coming up as a star. They're inspiring. They inspire other people around them. Very positive about the future. They're very bright. You can't miss them and you won't miss them. They are the light. There's the light, the moon. There's so many elements around you too, that I believe that is just written in the stars for you two to meet. So yeah, very powerful reading. Okay, so if you guys chose deck number three, this is the energy I'm picking up of your true soulmate. And if you guys are looking for off the grid readings, you can find that at the tarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in your true soulmate. So let's just see who is your true soulmate and we'll be describing them as well. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Very, very powerful. Okay. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship. It is truly sacred. So I believe that you guys are manifesting a twin flame. Your passion ignites. So actually what I'm feeling is just by looking at this person, just by getting to know this person, you're going to feel like you're learning more about yourself. So this person is going to be mirroring a lot of you in them. Let's see what the energy between you two is. We have the second chakra, which is the sacral chakra. Creative energy is what it seems like you guys have together. Very creative energy, very strong energy. Um, we also have indecision. Let's see more about this true soulmate. Eight of wands. The higher font. So we have Taurus energy and we have Capricorn energy. So this person loves to be free, loves to be free. They don't really like to be tied down. I do see that they care a lot about material things. I'm going to get some more information on that. Body work, teaching, you're on the right path. Talk to your angels. So this person is still discovering themselves through you. They find more of them. So this person, you will be able to see more of your spiritual self um, literally in them. You'll be able to see them. So you, you can see who they are. And I do believe that maybe people before could not see this, but I sense with you, you could see this. Now, as far as the material things go, I do believe that let's just get some more information on that. Radiant. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I just really do see that they are very vibrant and their possessions just happen to mirror that as well. So they could just want really nice things in this life. We have the Empress peeking through at the bottom. So this is going to be your divine partner, divine twin. I believe there was only two decks in this reading that had two divine, divine partners like that you were meant to meet. I do see that you could be meeting them after like a situation that was very dependent dependent on you or codependent let's get why the devil is here in reverse for who this person is true okay yeah i knew it definitely luxurious uh, material things so they do care about like having nice things we do have the king of pentacles this person could definitely be working on having more for themselves i'm definitely seeing that they're going through a growing period uh, i do feel like they have aspirations to get into more maybe training. I do see that they could care about what they look like. I do see that they are beautiful people and whoever this person is, people decide to listen to them. So this person is meant to be a star. 
why is the higher font in reverse yeah so the higher font i i feel like it comes right after the empress and the emperor and that's usually when you guys come together so i don't believe that you've yeah i don't see that you guys have met just yet let's see what the eight of wands is here for in reverse this is communication in reverse yeah lovers so those of you who do have a twin flame we discover that there are also false flames that you go through i believe the universe takes you through that so that you know the truth of what love is and so the lovers here, we have Gemini energy. We also have Taurus energy on the board. So I'm sensing that whoever this person is, they could have been with someone who thought was the one, um, but maybe didn't work out who was their other half. I definitely feel like they want to manifest a partner. They want something very stable. So you guys together are very creative. You could even want to expand with family. They care about what they look like. They dress nice. They could smell nice. Um, that's something I'm, I'm getting a lot of distinctive like uh, descriptions from this person. They do stand out. I do see that they care. They could drink wine. They could be into like sophisticated things, like very luxurious things. Um, and it doesn't have to be so much of being seen as much as it is quality. I do see that they like quality. So this person is going to be mirroring the other side of you. And they're also coming up as a lot of feminine energy. So we have goddess. I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. Mother of the sea. So they can be an empath. Definitely could be an empath. Let's get more information on this person. That they're their true soulmate. That I want to say that you're attracting. Three of cups. Thank you. Yeah. Queen of cups and the five of swords. I do believe that you guys could have definitely resonated with deck three as well. I mean, definitely resonating with deck three. I feel like you two are both going through a sense of discovery, trusting your intuition. Whoever this person is, they are still trying to find themselves. I definitely sense that they are trying to find themselves. And this is what could be the holdup with you two meeting or you guys could have already met. Some of you could have already or feel like you've already met your twin flame. Okay, and you guys are working through this. Let's see what you need to do to attract it. When I am patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. So yeah, patience with whoever you're currently with, if this is the person that you believe is your twin flame, but we do have indecision here. So I do see that you guys will definitely go through maybe a situation where you think very closely like this, that that person is your twin. Let's get some more information on the energy between these two, their true soulmate. Thank you. Yeah, you will know. Okay, the page of cups, there's curiosity here. You will just know that this is the one for you, two of swords. There will not be any confusion. There's no dis indecision. Um, there's a lot of clarity. It's almost like peace of mind because you finally feel like you know now. So this person's going to be bringing a lot of reassurance and a lot of clarity to you. This reading is more so like what spirit wants you to know about your true soulmate that you happen to be attracting in your life. Um, but as far as about this person, I do see that they're trying to get more into spirituality, more into teaching. Um, they're coming up as a speaker. So someone who is an educator, but I'm definitely seeing they're still trying to embrace this version of themselves. Okay, so they must, both of you must believe that you're deserving of one another. More information on this true soulmate. Describe them for me. Thank you. more information why is this two of wands here for this yeah this person is in between the middle right now making decisions six of wands yeah okay so this person could have went through when you guys meet each other some type of situation um that didn't go as planned you might even feel like this true soulmate the best way i can describe it is every relationship you've been with even if it was only one um every relationship is going to have like a little bit of them in this person. And I know that's super weird, but I'm sensing that this person could definitely have recognition. This person could be working towards having more recognition in the world, more fortune in the world could really care about that. Um, they could be inspiring. They could be 
I want to say for some of you, they could be a YouTuber or very creative. They're hardworking as hell. I definitely see that they work very, very hard. Um, and I do see that they could be a Scorpio. They've went through a lot. And after this moment in their life, I do believe success is coming in and they are on the verge of attracting a queen or a king, depending on what you resonate with. And so this person is definitely, it's like once they realize who they're not, who they're with is not the one, they have this ambition to now find that person, which I believe is you. Okay. So this person dedicates themselves to whatever they believe in. Okay. They're strong. There's a lot of fire energy. They definitely could have fire in their chart. They're very strong. They've been through a lot. Knight of Cups, very romantic. This person is going to make you feel like you're in high school again. You guys are definitely going to want to go out, see different things. I'm sensing that you're going to want to try new things with this person. Um, it says, I know that the right person waits until I'm ready. So I'm definitely sensing that whoever this person is, this true soulmate, they are like, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of puppy love. There's a lot of romance here. This person the way they look at you is just like they know that you're the one. There's no questioning it at all. So this true soulmate, very dedicated. Let's see if there's anything else. They're a speaker. They're a teacher. They're learning how to be more confident. They're learning how to be more into spirituality. And yeah, some of you can feel like you've already met this person. This is probably the first deck that I feel like maybe it could resonate already with that. If not... You are attracting this person very, very closely. We have a lot of moving cards here. Anything else on this person? Queen of Pentacles. I have everything I need to prosper. And then at the bottom, it says, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. The Empress. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is perfect. So you're attracting your twin flame. You're attracting your other person. We have the Empress here on the board. We have also just divine energy of two people that were meant to meet each other but must be open to new love because i see that maybe they did have a heartbreak maybe you had a heartbreak with trying to find the one um so just being open to this person you'll find could be a challenge and that could be the hold up as well i see that this is just a union that was destined to be together so there's a lot of romance here this person again wants to wine and dine you they want to take you out and they know for sure that you're the one for them is what I'm sensing with this true soulmate. It's an offer of love. This is probably someone that you will marry. This is someone that you'll want to be with for a long time. This is someone that you'll feel like there's not enough time in the world to even be with them. But I'm sensing that you guys both are going through some things here. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. The lovers, we're going to get some clarity on why the lovers is in reverse. I believe it's because just relationships falling out, thinking that they were the one. All right. Anything else about this person? This true soulmate that they're attracting. Anything else about this true soulmate they're attracting for deck four? I do believe it's in your fortune to meet this person. Six of Cups, so you guys do have a past life connection together. It will feel very familiar. Okay. Temperance, yeah. And that's the reconciliation card. I do believe this is happening after you find happiness and fulfillment for yourself with the Sun card. I'm just sensing that there's a lot of fog to get through to attract this true soulmate. And so that's what you're working on until then, because temperance is here. We have Sagittarius energy. So this is just, again, coming together, coming back to your spiritual self, coming back to your soul, focusing on your fulfillment is what's attracting this person. And that person is doing exactly the same thing. This person could have fame, could be well known with the six of wands. Let's get information on that for this true soulmate. The Six of Wands, Four of Cups, yeah. So they are very, it seems like they're either working towards being very fulfilled in their career or they are already fulfilled in their career. So I definitely sense that they're on a path right now that's pretty stable. They are looking to cater to this other person I'm seeing. They really want to cater to you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Last card. Two of Cups. Yeah, this is a soulmate connection. This is a divine connection. 
you guys will learn a lot together as far as spirituality. You guys are going to grow together. This is someone who's going to be invested in you, someone who's going to take time with you, someone who's going to spend time with you, I hear. Someone who's going to spend time with you. I mean, they, they are all about you. These cards are just, I mean, to get the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, you guys are moving towards something and it's based on some type of creative energy that's bringing you two together. So I create what I choose naturally with joy. So when you create, you have a lot of joy. And the same thing with this person, as I'm picking up the energy, we have a lot of Queen of Pentacles. I have everything I need to prosper. So this person cares about being prosperous. They really do care about being prosperous so that they can take care of who they're with and also just live their dreams is something that I'm hearing. So very intuitive person that maybe not like literally is into spirituality, but just is good at with reading people discernment um, and wanting to get more into it. Yeah, I see marriage here for sure. I see commitment here. I see support here. Lots of support from this person. This is going to be someone who's going to want to help you. The hangman, I definitely see that you're going to have to change your perspective as far as how you meet them, how this is going to work, how this is going to happen. Um, you're not making this happen. <laughs> you're just literally following your passions and this is what's creating it to happen. So it's not like you have to go out and find this person. That's what I mean by, by making this happen. This person is going to come to you and as you're in your place in your life, which I see, you will be very independent and very confident. Your energy is just matching theirs like a lot. You guys are matching each other's energy to the T. So whoever this person is, is definitely resembling some of the greatest versions of you. And you know what that is based on your passions and following your truth. And is this what you want to do? You know, all of these decisions make a difference when it comes to attracting this twin flame in your life, because the twin flame is what helps you evolve to your truest self. That's what a twin flame does. They literally mirror and sometimes it could be, it could feel like insecurities are coming up because of this person. Let's just see how they can attract them. Deck four. How can I attract their twin flame? Thank you. The universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionately to my highest good. So the universe is a, doing this for you guys. I accept that good things come easily. So accept that this is not so hard. Sometimes we put that weight on it like, oh my gosh, it's a twin flame. How am I going to do this? And then we put unnecessary pressure on things. But it says, accept that good things come easily. You're the attractor. So you're attracting this. And then when you surrender your will to the care of spirit and the universe, you also attune your energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. So this is a lot of surrendering and understanding that the universe is co conspiring with bringing you two together. All you have to do is be true to yourself and work to feel good about receiving. Okay. So work to feel worthy. Know that you're worthy. Some things that you want to do and achieve in your life will be passions that you do that, that are inspired. I definitely see from your twin flame or just desiring to meet a life partner. But again, this person is the mirror of the greatest version of you, not the perfect version, just the greatest version. And the greatest version is simply you living to your full potential, you feeling your best mind, body, and soul. Okay. So I'm going to leave that to you and what that resonates. And yeah, this is your guys' reading for your true soulmate for deck number four. So if you guys chose this, don't forget to comment down below. If you're looking for other off the grid readings, you can find that at the tarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to the next pick a card reading and sending you guys so much love and light. I'm out. <music>